All right, listen, I hear you, I see you, and I'm here to give you what you've been asking for. My DMs and comment section has never been so blown up as it has been for curves and combat boots. So today, we're going shopping. What do you mean you can't find the server? So they are veteran owned. They have really cute legging designs, and that's about all I know. Started by Sarah and Elijah Main. What a cute idea, Sarah and Elijah. Curves and combat boots. New releases. There has been a couple pairs in particular that you guys have been sending me, like mermaidy ones and then the rainbow ones. So I'm hoping those are still available. Let's see what kind of size range these people have. Extra small to extra extra large. Although there is only one legging that comes in 2XL. That's okay, we're trying. <laughs> We've got some yellow seamless. Seamless with a booty scrunch. I don't think I have any seamless with booty scrunch leggings. All right, shorts. Five inch inseam, that's what I'm talking about. And they have a pocket. Okay, here's another really cool thing that these guys do that I have never seen. They cater to amputee needs. Some of them are above the knee, below the knee. Electric blue. Let's get it. Ooh, we've got some really cute seamless ombre. Man, they have a big selection. This seems to be their like signature tank top. So I'm gonna do charcoal. And then I think I am gonna get one of these cute twisty tees. Light teal. I've always wanted one of these things. Okay, I think we got a pretty good mix of stuff. $369 a liter. Check out. There it all is. Hoping these size smalls fit. Cause your girl's a little thick this summer. I chose the expedient shipping. So hopefully this will be here by the end of the week. Please tell them. Please tell them. See you in a few days. I ordered the expensive expedient shipping for a reason, and it hasn't even left the station yet. It's fine, we'll keep waiting. Look what finally showed up a week and a half later. You'll never believe who just um, DM'd me <laughs> like 10 minutes ago. <gasps> Curves and combat boots. <laughs> I should really be better at my job and like actually reach out to companies before I just buy it, but you know. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna ask them if they want to do giveaway. Okay, we'll see what they say. I have phenomenal news. Curves and Combat Boots has graciously agreed to give away not one, but two $100 gift cards to you guys so that you can shop their store. It's gonna be awkward if I hate all of their stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sure I won't. To enter to win one of the two $100 gift cards, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button if you haven't already, and then just comment below and tell me what your favorite item from this haul is as you're watching. And then leave me some way to get a hold of you, whether it's your Instagram handle or Twitter handle, email, phone number. <laughs> Just kidding, don't post your phone number in the comments. All right, let's review this stuff. Wait, is this even it? How funny would that be if I just reviewed a whole bunch of products that weren't even theirs? <laughs> Hi there, just briefly interrupting your review video to let you know I just listed tons of new items in my Poshmark closet. If you're unfamiliar, Poshmark is an app where you can buy and sell new or gently used clothing and accessory items, and I have been using it for years. It's a great way to make some extra cash by making room in your closet or finding awesome deals on brands you love. These say not available, but please ignore that because they are now. Everything I just posted in my closet, Closet of Hope, is 50% or more more off the original price, and a lot of it is brand new with tags. You'll find activewear brands like Nike, Adidas, Calvin Klein, Free People, and more in a variety of sizes. I also just listed some new mystery items and mystery boxes in my closet. Click the link down below in the description to download Poshmark for free and shop my closet sale. Make sure to follow my closet if you want access to new listings that I post in the future. Thanks Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. Okay, back to the review. <laughs> yes! Whoa! There's so many papers. Oh, there's a cute little sticker. I should start putting all the stickers that I get from brands somewhere. Where should I put them? Wow. Okay, we are happy to offer exchange or credits within 30 days unworn. Cool, that's good to know. Oh my gosh, Sarah signed that herself. That's pretty cool. If you're watching and you've bought some of my merch, you understand that I appreciate when a lot of thought goes into the packaging. I was unable to find the rainbow leggings. I know, I think that they sold out. But I did get the mermaids. These are so fun. One, two, three, four pairs of leggings. I'm a little nervous that I got a small pair of shorts, two tops, sports bra, and a hat. Super cute white camo with a little silver logo on the corner. Oh, and then this cute little faux leathery looking logo on the side too, love that. Adjustable, wow look, there's my little bun. No, 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 no. <laughs> this was $26.97. Let's talk about the leggings. I got two pairs of seamless, the emerald teal with the booty scrunch, and the charcoal gray ombre. Oh wait, I lied. I don't think I have any seamless 
with booty scrunch leggings. The Gymshark camo do have a booty scrunch on them, but I feel like it's way more subtle than this. So when I wear them, you can't even tell that there's a booty scrunch. So I'm interested to see if you can actually see this scrunch. I'm bum's probably gonna stretch it way too far out to be able to see it. The ombre were $51.97 and these emerald ones were $53. Oh, these emerald ones have like a ribbing on the inside like the Revival leggings do from Alphalete and those are some of my favorite seamless leggings. I am definitely getting Revival legging vibes from these and I haven't really found anything that compares so I have real high hopes for these. Oh, these are tight, tight. Not because they run small, just because they got the wrong size. They're still really cute. I love the design on this one a lot. They're nice and high-waisted with a pretty thick seamless ribbed waistband. Decent amount of tummy control, smooths everything out. Like I anticipated, I am stretching that booty scrunch to China. It still gives a little bit of that illusion though. I feel like a squat test in these isn't even fair. I think if you get the right size though, they'll definitely pass the test. This ombre is beautiful. And these look like basically the exact same cut as those other leggings. These ones actually have less nylon in them. These ones are 90% nylon, 10% spandex. These are 64% nylon, 28% polyester, 8% spandex. Mostly they just feel, mostly they just feel slightly less plushy and they don't have the ribbing in them at all. And then they just have like a basic meshy type cut out and then they and then they just have like a basic meshy type cut out on the side of the leg okay these ombre ones seem like they have a little bit more stretch to them i'm digging the mesh on the side how it like curves up super cute once again they're pretty stretched but you still get a little bit of that booty scrunch a little logo on the hip i do love a good legging without a front seam and then once again seamless ribbed waistband so it's just sucking everything right in pretty happy with these ones they seem pretty squat proof they seem a little bit sheer but once again i think that's because they're small next pair of leggings these are the electric blue seven eighths pocket. I really like this color. These were $61.99. They're a spandex polyester blend and they are like my favorite fabric feel for legging. They're dense, but they're still stretchy. Phenomenal type of fabric for like actually working out in. This type of fabric holds its shape really well. It doesn't stretch out or shrink. These do have a double lined seamless waistband and then decent sized pockets on both sides. These might be like a, a little dupe for my all the right places leggings. Okay, these are the winner. Other than that front seam has given me a little bit of pockets are great. So far, all of these leggings are doing a great job of smoothing everything out, covering any cellulite. And this color is so pretty. Pretty darn squat proof. Yeah, these are awesome. And the mermaid leggings. These ones were only $34.97. They're the V3 full length legging with pockets. The design and the colors are so fun. But as a legging as a whole, I can already tell that I'm gonna like these ones better. These ones have a really thick seam at the top of the waistband. They are only half the price of the other ones, so. Look Look at how precious these are. Are you kidding me? As far as being squat proof, I'd give them like a six out of 10. Nice and compressing. I actually might prefer the seam at the top of the waistband because I felt like in the other leggings, it was kind of like rolling over as I moved around. This one stays in place. The shorts. These are called the little black shorts. They're $39.97. They have pockets five inch inseam, which I'm really excited about. This also has a seam at the top of the waistband, which is fine. It's just kind of personal preference, whether you like that or not. And then it feels like it's made from that same polyester spandex material as those other leggings. Why did I get a small? These shorts are bomb. I got a small, which I feel like is causing it to dig in a little bit right here, but I like how the waistband fits on the small, which is weird. Normally I'm the opposite where I prefer the smaller size in the leggings and a much bigger size in shorts, but these feel pretty good. Love the big pockets. Pretty squat proof, actually. I like these a lot. Just a good basic pair of shorts. And I'm not really having camel toe issues with these. Tops. Okay, we need to talk about this because it's so much cuter in person than I thought it was going to be. It's called the tie back tank top. It was $29.97. I just feel like the pictures did not do this justice. And then it has like this 3D printed logo on it. It feels like super high quality. And then the back is open like this. So you can either leave it open or tie it up. It's a nice lightweight cotton elastane fabric. Okay, I'm not normally one to get hyped over tops, but this tank might be my favorite thing from the whole haul. <laughs> this fabric is amazing. I love how flowy it is, but it also looks really cute. Tied up, wow. And I love the sparkly back. Honestly, like I might go get these in all the other colors. <laughs> all right, I would say this is a must have. The other top is a little twisty tie top. 
Oh, and then the logo is actually embroidered on this one. That looks really nice. This definitely has more of a cottony feel to it than the other tank. 95% cotton, 5% elastane. It has like a two-way stretch to it, so it'll stretch this way, but it doesn't really stretch this way. The color's really pretty. I mean, this is cute, but this just isn't my number one type of shirt that I like to work out in. I just don't like that cottony kind of stiff feeling fabric. Design's cute though, I like the pocket. Seems like the lighter colors of this are pretty sheer. It's a good length if you want a little bit of that cropped look, but not too much of the cropped look, you know what I'm saying? Ta-da! <laughs> and this cute little sports bra. It's the purple heart lace front sports bra. It was $39.97. This kind of reminds me of the Buff Bunny Vice sports bra, but it just has a little bit more coverage. This is a spandex polyester that's very similar to the leggings. And then it has this inner layer that feels more cottony. It does have removable cut pads that feel just ever so slightly padded. And then just a little baby logo right there in the middle. Okay, this is definitely in the top three favorites from this haul as well. I just feel like it's like cute and sexy, but still gives you that coverage and support. And I love this color. This is like an awesome quality little sports bra. Definitely true to size too. Feels like a solid medium support. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wear some of this stuff to the gym and give you guys my thoughts on how it actually performs. I think all that's pretty cute together, yeah? I think I'm gonna go with the ombre gray and this tank top. And then I'm just gonna throw in one of my other sports bras. This one's from Queenie Key on Amazon. I look like a weirdo. You look cute. <laughs> Tested outfit number one today. We have to do a quick workout because we're in a hurry, so I'm just gonna do some cardio and stuff. See how this holds up to that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cardio of choice. A solid 30 minute workout. And I'm sweating. Like I could feel it dripping down my forehead and down my back. But I think we're good as far as it actually showing in the leggings. I was really happy with these. They're really breathable, lightweight, and they make your bum look real good. Maybe white hats are a bad idea for me. There is outfit number two. I think I'm also gonna bring a hoodie to tie around my waist because I don't fully trust these leggings that they're squat proof. And I'm thinking I'll wear these little APLs with it. Oh, wow, Little Mermaid who? These are so fun. And this t-shirt really is cute. Alrighty, well I'm gonna go do a leg day. A little bit of cardio, see how these do. Does anybody else like dread leg day? I swear it's every girl's favorite, but I always put it off until the very end of the week. Wake me up. Bring me back to life. Sing it, Leo. Oh, why did it taste like medicine today? Probably because I just brushed my teeth. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to put this hat on right. Did I do it? I was wondering why I felt like my ponytails were sitting so low. Dang, it's kind of crowded for a Friday. All right, well, that was a little bit of a weak workout. <laughs> I just did some like lightweight and body weight type moves. But in my defense, I haven't done a leg day in like weeks. So I wanted to like ease myself into it, you know? But I was sweating, it was still a good workout. I mean, like I thought would happen. <laughs> t-shirt isn't really made to sweat in but you know that's the leggings did pretty okay though i feel like i feel awkward showing you but like there's like a little bit it's not like super noticeable i'd give them like seven out of ten as far as how well they hold up to sweat and then squat proof once again i feel like it's not totally fair because i got the wrong size but even if you were to get the right size i'd still probably only give them like a seven out of ten just because they're such a light color really like this sports bra this was super supportive final thoughts on the curves and combat boots Worth the money. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the quality of everything. It's definitely workout worthy. Would I buy from them again? Yeah, I feel like some of the designs are stuff that I've seen before, but they also have some really fun, unique stuff. And they just seem like a good company with a really cool message. Hope this review is helpful for all of you that requested it. As always, if you have any other brands or products that you'd love to see Leo and I review, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And Leo and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, YouTube. Is this a mouse poop on the floor? That is going to freak out. Lay, why are you letting mice in our house? Don't forget to click the link at the top of the description box to check out my Poshmark closet and shop the sale.